What is up guys, Broken Ronin here, and in this video we'll be talking about and explaining the Jujutsu Kaisen grading system. As the name would suggest, this is the rubric or standard that Jujutsu sorcerers use to rank or grade certain things within their world. This particular grading system in question applies to not only sorcerers themselves, but cursed spirits, cursed objects, and even cursed tools. The system itself is rather straightforward, grade 4 through special grade, grade 4 being the lowest of the low in every category, and it's typically where students entering the sorcery world will start, with grade one being the usual peak of what a character can achieve with the strength however the outlier of special grade does exist for everything that this system applies to when it comes to cursed objects we know that they are potent enough to surpass the realm of power of even special grade jujutsu sorcerers the fact that gojo cannot destroy sukuna's finger which itself is a special grade cursed object prove this and the fact that things like prison realm are speculated to have the potency to affect someone like gojo is also proof of special grade cursed objects potency cursed tools similarly are ranked based off of their efficacy in combat. The more potent or versatile the technique imbued into the weapon, the higher rank the tool will actually be. It's also mentioned very briefly by Maki that weapons of extremely high rank are also able to be sold for an extreme amounts of money. When it comes to the relation between curses and sorcerers, they are almost one to one in terms of power and combat ability, contrary to the other two categories which I covered before. However, since sorcerers are expected to be able to take down cursed spirits of equal grading, typically a sorcerer will have the strength above of a creature equal to the meringue. In case that didn't make sense, let me give you an example. If a grade 2 curse and a grade 2 sorcerer were to fight, 9 times out of 10, the sorcerer will win that fight. In fact, it is stated that in a specific scenario, the sorcerer would be close to the level of the grade 1 curse, which does explain certain matchup advantages in the series. A sorcerer's rank indicates not only how dangerous they are in a fight, but what level of missions they are allowed on, and how much they are paid for each job, which means special grades like Gojo just rake in the money simply because of their overwhelming power and ability to exercise. Considering the fact that I'm already discussing power, I might as well break down roughly how powerful curses and sorcerers are once they reach this level of power. We are given a rather comprehensive guide of cursed spirits' danger levels in chapter 6 by Ichichi. The danger assessment is assumes that cursed spirits would be harmed by conventional weaponry and states as such. Grade 4 curses can be handled with a baseball bat. Grade 3 curses can be handled with relative ease if you have a handgun. Grade 2 curses can be dealt with if you have a shotgun, however it would be cutting it rather close. Semi-grade 1 to grade 1 curses are strong enough to even make tanks useless in battle. And finally, special grade curses are so powerful that anything short of a cluster bomb strike would be ineffective, and even that isn't assured to take them out. Now keep in mind, even though this was only stated for cursed spirits because of the nature of the relation between the grading of sorcerers and curses sorcerers is actually scale to this if not slightly higher now because the special grade rank has such a potential power gap with characters like the finger bearer getting completely bodied by sukuna both being special grade curses it makes sense that the cluster bombs can potentially take out some in this rank and not others earlier in this video i stated that the grading system goes from grade four to special grades with no indication that there's anything in between however that is only under normal circumstances as you may have been able to glean based off my mentioning of semi-grade curses in somewhat unusual cases you get characters who are wedged between grades characters Characters like Mechamaru, Kamo, and Ino all fit into this. If you are definitely above the realm of a grade 2, you haven't met the full promotion requirements, well I'll explain in just a minute, you will fit into one of these semi-grade boxes. <clears throat> now on top of having grades like semi-grade 2 and semi-grade 1, ranks also exist between the special grade and grade 1 arena, or the supreme grade 1 position, which essentially means that characters of this rank aren't quite enough to attain that full special grade rank, yet are so much more powerful and skillful in battle than their typical grade 1 sorcerers that they are in a different league altogether. Naobito and Naoya Zenin give us a pretty good benchmark for this. Naobito is fast enough to completely blitz Nanami, a competent and dominant grade 1 sorcerer, and is also even able to blitz Dagon, who holds the position of a special grade curse, however is not able to finish it off himself. Similarly, Naoya is able to blitz both Yuji and Choso, two special grade level combatants. However, due to his lack of real damaging ability and arrogance, he falls short of reaching the domain of special grade, whether that be sorcerer or curse. Finally, let's talk about promotions. How does one acquire a higher rank in the system? The way to do this is rather simple. If you get a recommendation to get an upgrade in status from someone of a rank higher than you, that then gets sent off to higher ups in order for them to sign off on you officially becoming that rank. 
although this only applies to grades two and below. When it comes to grade one, you need two or more recommendations from someone of that rank that isn't your own teacher. After this happens, the nominee will attend with a grade one sorcerer on several missions. The nominee does not get to attend missions with any of the sorcerers who recommended them to that position in the first place. If they do well on those missions, they will be promoted to semi-grade one sorcerers, and after this will be sent out to deal with a grade one curse on their own. If dealt with properly, they will finally be granted the rank of grade one and all of the perks that come with it. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more explained content like this on the channel, make sure to comment, subscribe, and be on the lookout for another one of these videos next Sunday. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next week for yet another Jujutsu Kaisen Explained video.